Thank you, Governor. Good afternoon. I also want to thank all the volunteers out there who I know want to and are going to step up. I want to also mention the website, again, that's available for donating. You can go to bit.ly backslash COVID-19 dash MSD. That is the place to continue to go if you have laboratory or personal protective equipment supplies that you want to make available through donation. In terms of data, as the governor said, we have 38 new cases. This brings our total case count to 203. 28 people are in the hospital compared to 23 yesterday and 11 are in the intensive care unit. It gives an opportunity to reiterate what we discussed yesterday. These are numbers that we have based on the priority testing that we are doing as we are compiling the supplies and what's needed to sustain a longer term expanded testing given the goals the governor has set for early next week. I want people to understand that there are still additional cases out there. We are sharing these numbers based on who we have tested from those priority groups. That message is critical as we talk about the different measures that need to be taken. We know this virus spreads by people coming together. Everyone can do their part. If you are in your community and you see a basketball game that's going on in that community, stop by, do something about it. That's how the virus spreads. Call the police or just talk to them and help them know that they can make that difference. All of us can play a role in responding to what we have before us, and it requires a change in our society along the lines of what the governor has mentioned. As we continue to see more cases, the outreach workload will expand our team of epidemiologists and public health professionals who are working with us. There will be instances when the number I announce here evolves to what you see in our afternoon press releases. For example, in doing case outreach, a case may be reclassified as a Massachusetts or Connecticut resident based or, or a Connecticut case based on the person's residency. And cases in other states may get class reclassified as Rhode Island cases. Those numbers aside, we will continue to work hard to get them to you at the city and town level and the various demographics that we are sharing. But it's important to acknowledge that that is a snapshot of what's out there. And we need people to be vigilant. The more we can effectively apply these measures that we are talking about, the better off we can be for the long term. I also want to make another note on the data. We've been reporting quarantine numbers every day. Some days those numbers have gone up, some days they are steady, and some days we see significant drops. The significant drops may occur because big groups often go off of quarantine, or you may see a significant increase when there is a big group that needs to come on. Tomorrow, our quarantine number is going to drop significantly because roughly 1,700 people connected to Cranston High School West are coming off quarantine. This gives me an opportunity to speak to all of the students. I want to deliver a very clear message I know that it has been a long time to be at home and to be away from friends, but this is not the time to be heading out and getting together in groups, period. This is an extremely serious health condition we are dealing with in Rhode Island right now. We are seeing people of all ages impacted by this illness, so as youth that may Feel as if it won't be that big of a deal. But we need you to think of your parents, your teachers, your loved ones who are adults, those who may have 
underlying health conditions, it will be a big deal for them. And so the more you can follow the instructions that we are giving, students, middle-aged adults, older adults, the more effective we can be. While the official quarantine for those students, for example, is being lifted, I am asking, the governor's asking, we are all asking that you still not get together and socialize with friends. It's important for each of us to hold each other accountable. The same goes for teachers, for parents, and staff. Family, parents, and everyone else in Cranston, we need you to help us get the word out. We need you to make sure this message sinks in with the teenagers in your life, as well as those around them. This is a time when we really need everyone to be acting responsibly and thinking about the welfare of the entire state. The measures we are talking about work. They are effective once they are implemented appropriately. So we need every one of us as Rhode Islanders to follow them effectively. For every Rhode Islander, if you develop symptoms of respiratory illness, a viral illness consistent with COVID-19, or that seems like the flu, even if you have not been tested, please, you need to stay home and isolate there. Even if you have mild symptoms that seem like a cold, you need to be self-isolating immediately. You should isolate at home until all of your symptoms have been gone for at least three days. Most people who have these symptoms will be able to stay at home and will be okay. But if you think you need medical care, call your doctor. Do not just show up. As we expand the contact tracing program that we know will be critical for us to be pinpointed as the governor shared, it's going to be critical for everyone to know if you have these cold symptoms, you need to stay at home. That's what we refer to as isolate. Your household contacts need to be quarantined and those who have had direct contact with you should also think about that. Quarantining means staying local, staying at home, which we are asking everyone to do, and to monitor yourself for symptoms. So that if symptoms were to develop, you have not been out in public exposing other people. That's a critical point that everyone needs to follow. If you have symptoms of COVID-19, everyone you live with and people who have been in close contact with you while you were sick with symptoms, should quarantine for 14 days to be able to monitor themselves for symptoms. These are all measures that I will again say make a difference. So please let's work together on being able to do that.